Hi, my name is Dr. Martin Milner. I'm a naturopathic physician in Portland, Oregon. I'm here with my patient, Rich Cox, today. My name is Rich Cox, and I've been a patient of Dr. Milner's since uh, approximately 2001. And it was at that time that I was referred to Dr. Milner uh, that I was looking for some real specific help uh, due to a, a myocardial infarction that I had in 1998 which left about a third of my heart uh, in very serious uh, damaged condition. That uh, infarct that took place uh, resulted in uh, some pretty serious arrhythmia and uh, other issues that made quality of life uh, very difficult in a lot of ways. Um, and I was in and out of ER uh, quite a number of times and uh, have been over the years. But fortunately, when I uh, got uh, to become one of Dr. Milner's patients in 19, or excuse me, in about 2001, it was then that I really started to, to get better from where I was. Uh, he put me on a number of nutritional protocols and guided me through some very challenging times. In more recent years, I've taken a look at uh, some, some things that uh, he had actually prescribed in lower doses, uh, including L-arginine, and we uh, had subsequent conversations here a couple of two and a half, three months ago, and uh, I told him about a, a product that I was uh, using at that time, and uh, basically I was hoping that he would uh, be willing to take a look at that, possibly to help his own uh, patient uh, base. He deals with a lot of different uh, patients, obviously, being a cardio uh, physician in the world of naturopathy, and, and that uh, I felt would be of great benefit to, to his, his other patients as it was seeming to be at that time for me. When Rich came to me with this product, I had been familiar with the arginine for years and used it aggressively in my practice. Uh, one of the things that was extraordinary is that arginine doesn't taste very good. And the doses when we started our original research in the 90s were about 3,000 milligrams or 3 grams and that was about the most we'd ever give and then gradually in the 1990s and the early 2000s we pushed the dose up to about 6,000 milligrams or 6 grams and um, it's such a high dose that it's it's too high for people to take a bunch of capsules you'd have to take 12 capsules a day or more. So um, powdered delivery systems were always a challenge because the taste was so horrific. So we always had a challenge in getting high doses into people. And then uh, we came upon the research about ADMA, which is asymmetric dimethyl arginine, which competes with arginine. And some of the major research worldwide identified that the doses may actually need to be much higher than 5,000 milligrams or 5 grams. So um, I st w at the point in time when Rich introduced me to proarginine, I had been using 6 grams and occasionally 9 grams with patients, but never more than that. So a concept of giving um, amounts at 10 grams and 15 grams and 20 grams was cutting edge pioneering even for me and I teach naturopathic cardiology. So here I find a company that's been doing that in the marketplace as a dietary supplement for seven years. And I'm first finding out about doses at that level and there's a lot of uh, worldwide compelling research that is medically reasonably reasonable and well thought through and I got real excited about it once I realized what, what was going on here and what, what we actually had and that the therapeutic benefit of very high doses of arginine is an uncharted territory that medical science needs to take really seriously. Um, the first thing that I noticed when I started taking the product in the larger doses of uh, about 20 grams of uh, L-arginine per day uh, was that I began to have lower blood pressure. In fact, uh, because I'm on blood pressure medication, uh, it could get actually a little too low at times, and I would find that 
uh, might get a little lightheaded once in a while, not all the time, but, but many times. I wanted to make sure that I was not doing something wild or crazy or stupid, so um, you know, I wanted him to know exactly what it was that I was up to and, and how I was feeling. And, and I said, you know, I really feel great on this uh, product. And, you know, because he'd been very aware of a lot of the things, the arrhythmias and, and the branch bundle blocks and, and all the kinds of things that uh, have affected my heart, uh, he, you know, wanted to make sure I was on the, you know, doing the right thing. So I really openly asked him to investigate this and, and uh, to come uh, with me to Las Vegas for the Global Summit so that we could both hear from the leading experts in this world of, uh, of, of L-arginine, uh, Dr. Berger and, and Dr. Uh, uh, Siva, uh, Aruna Salam, uh, Dr. Prendergast, who formulated the product, you know, to be able to hear directly from them what this product was doing and how, what their whole idea was in formulating it and how they were get it, getting it out to their patients and so forth. So that was another turning point, I think. Uh, I Just while I was in Las Vegas, uh, we went out to look at uh, uh, some some of the night scenes and you know there's lots to see in Las Vegas as we know and we must have walked uh, probably four miles and that is something that I candidly uh, probably three four or five months ago wouldn't have been able to do I could have probably walked a mile but you know four miles would have been not possible but uh, we walked at a fairly good pace we did stop here and there to look at different things but you know it was a very very busy evening and and uh, Doc would say how you doing and I'd say well I'm doing great he says you're just amazing so <laughs> we uh, we really had quite a quite an evening and got back and you know I thought I could probably go out and do that again and it wasn't just because I was all you know pumped up I just actually felt really good and that's how I've been feeling on this product ever since I got on it and and my progress just seems to get better and better and I can only imagine where I'll be in another six months or a year. The medical professionals that are hearing this are probably wondering, well, what, what does he have? How extensive is his disease process? What are we really talking about here? So let me just give a big picture perspective for the general audience in language that they can understand. In cardiology, there is a, a rate limiting step of how well the heart pumps, and it's called an ejection fraction which is how much blood can be pumped out of the heart when it's filled with blood at the end of its relaxation phase. A normal ejection fraction is 50 to 60 percent. Rich's ejection fraction is 15 to 20 percent and has been for eight years. It is unheard of for somebody to be able to walk four miles without shortness of breath with an ejection fraction of 15 to 20 percent. It doesn't happen in the best of conventional prescription drug therapy. Uh, he is extraordinary in his tolerance of his chronic disease process of his heart. And to make matters more challenging, not only has he lost a third of his left ventricle to an MI, he has cardiomyopathy, which is fibrotic, scarring in his heart, he has arrhythmia, and he's got the happiest broken heart I've ever seen. <laughs> And um, he's a walking testimony to how natural medicine can rebuild a weak organ that's going to stay weak. His ejection fraction is no better. He's still at 15 to 20 percent, but he's acting like his ejection fraction is twice what it is. This changes a lot at a foundational, fundamental, core level in my thinking as a naturopathic cardiologist because we now have a natural compound that can vasodilate or open up arteries with extraordinary efficiency and it's a dietary supplement and being able to use it as a dietary supplement and have it convert into nitric oxide makes it an extraordinary compelling opportunity for the general public at large to be able to use a dietary supplement in a way that manages a whole lot of chronic health challenges, whether it's uh, shortness of breath or problems with blood pressure control 
or exercise tolerance or elite athletic performances or the effects of nitric oxide on breaking down sugar molecules that make cells stick together. It's an extraordinarily broad level of uh, application, starting with helping control blood pressure, but moving on to improving heart function in more ways than we realize. I've given lectures where I've listed 10, 15, 20, 30 different effects of arginine converting into nitric oxide in the human body and it's still not fully researched and understood so it's a whole new horizon it's a whole new vista we don't really know the high end of uh, serving sizes or grams of delivery and if the effect stays the same at higher grams it's a whole new horizon of opportunity